All right, art nerds, we are going to talk about translating your actual image onto your hardboard or onto your watercolor paper, depending on which medium you're choosing on doing. So if you're using acrylics, you're using this hardboard. It is 11 by 14 inches. And if you're using your watercolors, you're using a smaller paper. You're using one that's about this size, 9 by 12. So it just depends on what material you're planning on using for this project. So um, I already have my grid set up, um, as you see in one of my previous videos, and I have it labeled with my letters and numbers. Notice how with the hardboard, I have a letter and number in the uh, one corner because I'm not able to write my labels on the outside as I can on a normal piece of paper. So the 1A right in the corner has the letter and number written both on the inside. So um, for when we get started, what you are going to do is you're actually going to start by drawing your portrait first because if we start with drawing your motif you'll end up having your entire motif drawn and then having to erase a whole bunch of your motif to start getting your room for your portrait in there and so i don't want you to waste a whole bunch of your time and effort especially since working with the grid method trying to make everything perfect takes a lot of time and that's something that i don't want to waste of yours so make sure you start with doing the contours first I recommend doing the outline of the whole portrait first and then filling everything in um, and everything will start to fall into place. So that's what we're going to do first. We are going to start doing the big outside contour first and then start filling everything in. All right, so now that we have finished doing our contour lines around the outside of our portrait, you are set to start doing all of the details on the inside. So that includes the ear, eyes, hairline, shirt line, anything that is going to be extremely helpful to you when it comes to start to paint. After you finish that, then switch your images. So then you are working with adding that motif in the background. And this process is the same whether you're working with the hardboard or working with the watercolor paper. Um, with a watercolor paper, it is extra important that you are drawing these details in very lightly so as to not be distracting once you start adding your watercolor uh, paint to it since that is very transparent, meaning that you can see through it and you can see anything that any mark that you make with your pencil. So keep that in mind as you keep going. Take your time. Do your very best. Don't rush things, um, especially this contour line part. So this is what it's going to look like when you finish doing your portrait and your motif. This is all you really need to do the sketches. If you have any flub ups and that kind of stuff, make sure you erase them uh, before you start painting. Also, make sure you erase all of your grid lines. You no longer need those when you start painting. And then as soon as you erase your grid lines, you're ready to start painting, whether it's um, on the hardboard using acrylics or if you are using that watercolor paper and you are using watercolors. So, um, you are good to go, ready to start going, and yeah, that's all you need, art nerds. Get started painting. Have fun, do your best, take your time. 